Bitcoin may be trading right now inside a massive bull flag and it could actually put Bitcoin next target here all the way up to about 30,000 US dollar. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think Bitcoin is about to do next. So make sure to sit down, relax, and let's get into this video. All right, everybody, welcome back here to a new Bitcoin video. What the hell is right now happening to the price? Well, if I go here to the shorter time frame first, what you can actually see is that we are trading right now in a beautiful and beautiful wedge pattern. And this is something that, you know, I normally don't really tend to talk about these kind of patterns, but I kind of want to focus that, you know, I want to focus a little bit today, this video about what kind of pattern is Bitcoin trading in and where can we potentially expect Bitcoin to go to? So we had the job report today and that came in uh, quite... Uh, berries so apparently there's more jobs that got added recently and that means that the economy is more strong and this tends to be more berries because actually we're living in a very weird world where apparently if the jobs reports are very very good and the economy is strong then apparently uh, st the stock market and everything else dumps because people are expecting the fed to continue to raise rates and be hawkish on the economy so that's kind of the scenario that we're in living right now good news is actually bad news good news uh, regarding the economy is as well bad news and uh, you know because people are expecting the fed to further taper and so that's why we saw this dump to the downside but we already recovered and uh, of course we are already recovering right now because bitcoin and the stock market is exactly moving to the target that i have laid out here even just a few months ago so i think a lot of you guys may remember this here back in october but everybody was shorting here back in october and what did team underground say what did we say here on this youtube channel when everybody is going to go short that is likely going to be the bottom and at that point i put in the prediction here that we are at least going to revisit this high over here and it took some time and um, you know certainly i expected it to kind of happen here in december um but we came back down here and now we are moving here to the target now the thing is i think we're going to move here to this previous high and i think we're going to fade this high i i really think that there is going to be quite a significant stock market correction still probably in maybe somewhere around may somewhere maybe around the summer here where we could expect something like this to play out again everybody was going short here exactly at the bottom thinking that we were going to crash so i'm going to tell you something a lot of people are going to long here the stock market bitcoin and whatever and so i think right over here where everybody's going to go long and everybody's calling for you know a new awesome high in the stock market that's when you are going to see that stock market crash now just looking here at Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin is right now setting up here for a beautiful, beautiful move here to the upside. So we're clearly seeing right now that Bitcoin is trading inside a bull flag pattern. And so again, I don't really tend to talk about these patterns, but I just want to talk about it a little bit today. And um, you know, what you can see here is you can see a bull flag pattern, and then you can see kind of a one-to-one -one extension here to the downside. So um, that's pretty much what we got here. You, you can see here, bull flag here, and then you got this move to the downside, and you get an equal move here to the downside. And if we are going to see here a Bitcoin move, that's going to break out of this wedge here. We may see this bull flag here again playing out, and then we could see Bitcoin all the way going up to thirty thousand US dollar. As you guys know, I've, I'm in a long position right now at seventeen thousand US dollar, and my target is as well somewhere here around thirty thousand US dollar. So somewhere up here, I think Bitcoin is going to go, and uh, then in total, this trade is going to close here on. Uh, let me see how much profit this is going to be. Then this would be a total here of one hundred seventy thousand US dollar. Yes, one hundred seventy thousand US dollar. That is what I'm aiming here for with this long position. Now, as you guys know, I have a private channel and a lot of people have asked me, Thomas, I wanna join a private channel. I did a discount a few weeks ago, but a lot of people recently joined back and started watching Team Underground again. So I did a 50% discount. I'm still doing it right now. I'm gonna close it up very, very soon again. 50% discount, I've never done this before. This is a historical discount. It's not gonna happen a lot of times, but for everybody who's been thinking about buying the indicator, who's thinking about joining the private channel, then make sure to take advantage of this discount. Absolutely. If you've been thinking recently like, oh, I want to join a Team Underground private channel. I want to see all the trades that Thomas does. I want to get extra analysis. I want to get an extra input on the market. If you've been thinking about joining recently, this is the time to join. I absolutely highly, highly recommend you. If you are a trader, it is absolutely 100% going to be worth it to join a private channel because, because that's where I post all of my personal trades, every single one of them, stop loss, entry, take profit, all of it, I post them the moment that I place a trade. And so if you are a trader, it is absolutely 100% going to be worth it to join. And as well, if you join a private channel, you get access as well to my indicator, which has beautifully predicted tops and bottoms here in the past, which I'm using here to trade and making massive and massive amounts of profits. So 50% discount, make sure to check out the link in the description. Definitely worth it. Now, moving on here, 
let's go and talk about what is my private indicator doing. And if I go into the hourly time frame or I go into the four hour time frame, let's first look at the four hour time frame. We are seeing something quite interesting. And so what we saw over here is that we saw a beautiful, beautiful buy signal here exactly again at the bottom. I mean, this indicator is absolutely genius. I mean, whenever you see a cross here in this uptrend here, that means that, hey, Bitcoin, the pump is over. You don't have to long anymore, which is exactly what this indicator is uh, intended here to be. You can basically see right now is that we got here a red small cross, which basically indicates that, hey, the top is right now over. The top is in right now and the price is going to go sideways. It's no longer, there's no point in going long anymore because the price has finished. This little pump has finished and that is exactly what happened here. We saw here a red cross and then we saw the pumping finished. Then you had to wait all the way here until you saw green crosses pump uh, showing up and this resulted in the price going up. Same thing over here, red cross, it means the pump is over and then you have to wait here for a green cross again. So you can see we got here a green cross, we got here a move here to the upside, we got here a red cross, it's indicated here again at the top and now we got a green cross here exactly here at the bottom. I have quite a few people in the private channel that actually took a trade here as well here at the bottom beautifully and are still riding it here to the upside. Quite, quite an easy trade here if you are actually access here to the indicator. Now, what you actually see right now very, very clearly is that we don't have any kind of red cross right off here. So I think that this move is still gonna continue to move here to the upside. If a red cross does potentially show up, I may actually go into a short position. I may actually ride some kind of a smaller move here to the downside. Again, my prediction has been that we are still probably gonna continue to go sideways a little bit here for the next one to two weeks, weeks moving forward. So if a red cross shows, uh, shows up, I might actually take a scouting position. But hey, for now, we are not seeing any kind of red crosses. So I think that right now we are still going to see that this price is going to move here to the upside. And um, you know, we are trading here inside a bull flag. So if we were to break here above the high and we really maybe get, get like a daily close or something here above this trend line here, which is would be somewhere around $25,000 US dollar. If we kind of move to that level, $25,000 US dollar, have a daily close, close, and that would pretty much confirm here this move here to the upside. And then I think this beer flag will play out. But until then, I am not looking here to turn very, very bullish or well, I am very, very bullish, but I'm not gonna be hyper bullish here in the short term. I think we're still gonna go sideways for the one for the next one to two weeks here moving forward. Now, let's look again at the news. As, you, as I said here, the job report came in stronger than expected. And um, well, Biden is again going around saying that how strong the economy is and the economy is so absolutely amazing. Um, but the most important thing here, what I actually saw here today is that Biden said, takes no blame for inflation. Biden says inflation was there when he arrived. And that is exactly kind of what is true, which I, which I, which I kind of said here in the last uh, videos here for the last few months, is that kind of Trump printed all the money, which caused all the inflation. Biden really just came into office and he had to deal with all the inflation. But this is exactly why the fiat system is broken. Because what happens is, is that Biden can just print a bunch of money and then he probably becomes quite popular. Everybody likes him because he's giving away free money. But then the next president is going to actually have to deal with all the inflation and all the bad stuff. And this is the problem with fiat money. And a lot of people are saying that, you know, Biden is going to take with the economy, blah, 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 blah. But eventually every single government, every single president is just gonna print money because it's more easier. And guess what? It's going to take years, probably one to two years before that all of that money is gonna cycle through the economy and it's really going to cause inflation, as we saw, for instance, with Trump. Trump printed all that money, Biden is dealing with all the inflation. So in the future, you're gonna see that more money is, of course, going to be printed because it's very, very easy to print money. It's very, very popular to give people free money. But this is the problem here with the fiat system. And this is why Bitcoin has had such a significant move to the upside and is gonna to continue to move to the upside here in the future. Everybody who says the government is tapering, the Fed is tapering the economy, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Trust me, Biden eventually is going to go and start printing more money to fix the economy. And so yeah, Biden is praising the economy for the low job report. Um, but I will have to say this to, to you, Biden, is that there's so much people right now which are working one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 jobs just to pay their bills. And that's the thing, there's right now extremely low unemployment in the US, but many people are working like three, four jobs just to pay their bills. What's the point of having low unemployment when people are working like four jobs just to pay their bills? That is not a strong economy. A strong economy is not an economy where basically everybody has to work multiple jobs. I'm sorry, but that's not a strong economy. It's not a good economy. It's not how you plan an economy. Well, first of all, I think if we have a free market, if we don't have the Fed printing all that money, we don't have the Fed giving all that money away for free to people who are investing in the stock market, to all the rich billionaires, we'd have a much more balanced economy. Maybe people wouldn't have to work two or three jobs just to pay their bills. But hey, we're living in an economy where money is cheap. So if money is cheap, inflation is high and people have to work very, very hard just to pay their bills. And so, yeah, I think that um, Biden is taking a lot of 
credit here for a strong economy, which I don't really think exists. And um, yeah, again, Biden is also not taking, you know, blame for inflation. Apparently, it's all Trump's fault. So, hey, Biden, if it's not your fault, maybe just print some more money. Just get it all over with. Get the whole field system over with. Just get over here. Let's just start hyperinflation. And let's just move on from all of this fiat crap. But um, eventually, you're going to see Bitcoin is going to continue to move to the upside. In the next coming few years moving forward, the government's going to print more money. And you better, better, better be positions here for that. And I think Bitcoin is the best way to position yourself for that. Again, no financial advice. But... Um, I'm excited here for Bitcoin moving forward. We've got a beautiful buy signal here on the weekly time frame. We've got everything pretty much set up here for Bitcoin to make a significant move to the upside. So far, the signals are not showing up me up any bearish signs. I think we're still very, very low. And I think we're gonna move here to 30K very, very soon here in the next few weeks moving forward. So with that, I wanna end this video. I am bullish, maybe you're bullish, I hope you're bullish. And uh, yeah, that's it. Again, if you wanna join a private channel, 50% discount is gonna end very, very soon. Probably gonna end in the next couple of few hours after this video is online. So make sure to click the link in the description, type less plans so you refresh, refresh all the subscription plans. And then, of course, I hope that I see you in a private channel. Now, this was the end of the video. Hope you guys subscribe and like and see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.